hello. Okay, uh, a few days ago, I posted a video that showed our like monthly, I don't know what I'm doing there, our monthly grocery haul. Um, I kind of jokingly titled it the coronavirus stockpile, which is kind of hilarious because it brought in a lot of new people to my channel. Um, so if you're new here, hi, I'm Laura. And um, anyway, I didn't add on to that video our meal plan for the month because I didn't actually make it before going to the store, which is how I normally plan things out. Um, so I thought it would be good to add now what I've planned out for the month and show you kind of how I did it in reverse. So, I mean, I guess I'm not sure gonna show you the planning process, but um, I went through all the things that we bought um, and our freezers and what we already had in the pantry and then laid out for the month what meals I'm going to make. Um, so I'm gonna show you for my channel before, you'll, you'll know this, it'll look familiar. For breakfast and lunch every week, we do the same thing. Just every Sunday we have oatmeal, Monday we have muffins, Tuesday we toast and yogurt. And this one I actually edited. Um, my kids begged for Nutella. So we switched this from breakfast burritos to the Nutella banana roll-ups. We do bagels and cream cheese. And on Friday, I do either waffles, pancakes, or French toast. And Saturday, do we cereal? Okay, then Sunday, I had baked potatoes here and it just wasn't a family favorite. Not everybody liked it. So I switched that one to nachos. Then we do mac and cheese, grilled cheese, hot dogs, snacky. Friday, I pull something out of the freezer. And Saturday, we do the tuna style, the shredded chicken sandwiches. Okay, so that's how I do breakfast and lunch every day. And then this, one of my kids already got on and colored. Uh, but this is gonna show you the month of March. This is the day I shopped. And then we just kind of <laughs> winged it for the first few days before I decided to write this out and make a meal plan, which normally I only do this for two weeks at a time. So doing the whole month at a time was just our idea um, because we wanted to just be prepared if we needed to stay in the house and not go into public, we wanted to have the whole month planned out. So we ended up having grilled cheese and tomato soup and then frozen pizza and spaghetti and garlic bread. We just did sandwiches, this was a busy day. Then we did hot wings with a veggie tray. Tonight we're going to do bourbon, chicken, and rice. Tomorrow we're gonna do a quesadilla or just wraps. Then I'll do homemade pizza. Saturdays I always try to do leftovers to use up anything that we didn't during the week. Then we're gonna do tacos, butter chicken with roasted veggies. And these, I'll probably just pull out some vegetables from the freezer and throw them on a pan and roast them in the oven. St. Patrick's Day, we're gonna do green smoothies, cucumber sandwiches, and popcorn. Then we'll do chicken strips and fries taco soup, which also will be loaded with vegetables. People were very concerned about our lack of fruits and vegetables in my grocery haul because it showed so many snacks. Crock-Pot pizza. Then we're gonna do baked chicken thighs with those ones that I got on sale at Aldi and mac and cheese. Chicken fried rice, which is also super packed with veggies. Um, beef tips, which is like the stewed beef mix that, I, or just stewed beef like cubes that I got. Um, in the crock pot with a gravy mix and mashed potatoes. This is also those chicken thighs. We're gonna do a creamy Dijon chicken, white chicken chili, bacon cheeseburger casserole, which will also have lots of veggies in it, frozen pizza, just for an easy Sunday meal, <laughs> burrito casserole, and then a teriyaki stir fry, also loaded with veggies. Um, and I don't always list on here. I don't always list on my menu plan what all the side dishes are. So a lot of times I just pull out of the freezer, um, like I said, like frozen broccoli or um, just like a stir fry mix or things like, I don't know. I don't know what else I pull out. <laughs> Canned vegetables, maybe corn, asparagus, green beans, and um, serve those alongside. And um, let me give you an example. Let's see, what did we have? When we had our hot wings the other night, I did a veggie tray that had like sliced bell peppers, cucumbers, celery, um, just with ranch dip, and then I served like a fruit salad with it. So we do a lot of fruits and vegetables, it just doesn't show. And because we are a homeschool family, we do eat a lot of food. <laughs> we eat all of our meals here every day, and we eat a lot, and we snack a lot. And I don't know, I don't know why I'm explaining all that, but sometimes it makes me feel like I need to justify myself. So that is our plan, hopefully it'll work. I think maybe by next, 
I feel like you're zooming in on my forehead here. Maybe by next Friday, I will go back and get a few more fruits and vegetables. Cause like right now we're down to like four bananas left and we're a week and a half into this. So I will have to go back and get some fresh stuff. Um, but if, if we're told like we have to stay inside and we can't go anywhere because like all, everybody's freaking out. Colleges are shutting down and all sorts of travel is being canceled. Um, so if we have to stay inside our house, we can live on the things that are here. And then next month we'll load up on fruits and vegetables that are fresh. That's just the way it is. So how about you? Are you worried about anything? Are you stockpiling? What does your grocery plan look like for this month? Let me know. Tell me in the comments. Thanks. Bye guys.